everyone, it's Tracy Tischler, owner of Kickstart A Kick-Ass Life, and I'm going to talk today about how to start the process of becoming a model or trying to be a model. Uh, I've been a model for over 15 years. I actually just did a short film. Um, I've been a talent agent. I've owned my own agency, and I've been a makeup artist and hairstylist. So I've been on all areas of the spectrum as far as um, being talent, being behind the scenes, being the agent. Uh, so I just wanted to, you know, I've talked to other people. I didn't know if I wanted to do this or not. When I had my talent agency, I would put videos up to help people because I know when I started, I didn't know where to begin. And, um, and I, I get so many questions and so I would put videos up on my agency website but it was interesting because most people wouldn't look at them and they would keep sending me questions about it and that's the one thing I'll tell you too um, usually on if you want to apply to an agency to consideration to be a model for their agency uh, you know don't email them directly they are already working just like everybody else and then they get bombarded with all these questions and it's kind of a um you know it's just too much and that's why they have information uh, usually it's like contact or submit yourself to be a model and all the information should be there so if you don't get it out of that and you have questions then i think sometimes they assume well then we won't even not that we won't take them but they just don't want any extra work. That's why they've set it up that way. That's why I set mine up that way. And then people would write with these questions and I'm like, well, it says it all there. So hopefully you understand that. Um, so the basics, if you're considering being a model and my thing was, and what I tell everybody too, is a lot of people don't ask around like what's the good agencies, where do I even start? Because a lot of people don't want people close to them to know that they're even doing this. Um, a lot of people don't even tell people when they're modeling, like people, their friends, because they think, I think that, and I know I didn't either, that who is he or she to think that they can be a model and you, know, you think that they're gonna put down maybe this dream that you have of doing this and and you're just like well I just want to try and see you know where this goes and modeling's fun it is fun and for most of us it's just like a side job having fun uh, there aren't too many people listen I'm in Minneapolis um, that's the market here uh, and you know there's jobs but there's a lot of talent also, so I just consider myself lucky when I got a job and had fun working. Um, and so I'm gonna put a disclaimer here too. Listen, I'm in the Minneapolis market, the Minnesota market, and it's gonna be different for LA and New York, the big markets. Um, but for those, at least you know who the reputable uh, agencies are. Like you'll know them by name, you'll know, you know big models who've been with them. The hard part when you first start is in a small market is who's the reputable agencies and if you aren't talking to other people then you won't know who it is. So I would suggest finding somebody, you know, putting on Facebook or searching out, usually on Facebook, so I know we have it here, um, there's local communities. And a lot of times you, they're private um, Facebook pages. So you have to ask to join and then they'll let you join. <clears throat> and then you can put a question out there, you know, what's a reputable agency around here to be with or to submit to. And as far as pictures, cause this is gonna be the most important thing if they call you in, is that uh, I can tell you, I have gotten the gamut of pictures, the gamut. And really what you want, you don't need professional photos to submit to an agency, at least not here. And like I said, I would assume in the smaller markets in the US, it works the same way. Uh, just take a nice picture, like one maybe, um, you know, three quarters length, like from your waist up. And then I would do one full body because they need to see your full body. And then like a headshot, maybe, you know, shoulders up or just a little bit further down like your decollete right here up 
So headshot, mid shot, full shot. And I know when I have my agency, I let people submit like 10 photos. Uh, so if you have more, submit those, but please, please, I can't tell you how many Snapchat photos I received. And not just on Snapchat, but they had writing on them from Snapchat, they had crowns on them from Snapchat. I mean, not professional, I wouldn't even entertain calling this person in. I just deleted their submission. And um, sexy photos, not gonna work. I can tell you there's no market that you submitting like a sexy photo um, of you is gonna work. I mean, it's just not, that's not what we're looking for, you know? And um, there's maybe specific niche places to send those things, but for most modeling agencies, those aren't the ones. The ones you want to send really for your submission are just really nice photos. No selfies. I mean, if you have a camera, you have someone that can stand there and just take a couple pictures of you. Uh, it, it really, and just like, you know, pleasant smile, standing there, you know, you can stand straight or, you know, you can put a hand on your hip or something like that. And then um, when they have you come in, then they can see you in person, but something that just shows you and shows you naturally, really not too much makeup, not false eyelashes, something that you would just do like in a normal day. Um, and if you wear false eyelashes on a normal day, don't wear them. And, you know, no extensions if you have ones that can take them out. You just want to be you the way you are. Listen, they know that they can add stuff. They can add more makeup. They can add more hair extensions, whatever. Um, but so you just want to really clean shots to submit. And so the way you do it, go to whatever, you know, you can Google agencies. And again, I really um, implore you to find the reputable ones because sometimes there are some who I think are, you know, will just take your money and tell you sweet things and um, then do nothing for you. And like I said, I what I would do would go to a Facebook page and find out your local, um, like we have Twin Cities, you know, whatever, uh, models, uh, other Facebook pages, and then just ask there. So then you know that nobody else on your Facebook page, like your friends or family, if you don't want them to, nobody's seeing that, but then you'll get that information. And a lot of people are more than willing to tell you who to go to. Um, and then go to their Facebook page and they will have information on how to submit, whether it's, you know, most of the time it's not sending it anymore by mail. That was the old way, you know, the olden days before online. A lot of times it's a submission form. You fill out your name, whatever, you attach some photos and then that's the start of it. And then you wait and please don't like send a follow up like I've sent you these um, pictures and I haven't heard anything. If you haven't heard anything, then right now they aren't interested. It doesn't mean they won't ever be interested, but then wait six months and then maybe reapply again. Don't keep bombarding them because they do get your submissions. Um, and they may not just be in the need for someone like you right now, but again, things change. And so maybe in six months, it'll be a different story, but always take new photos every six months, um, you know, if you're resubmitting. So hopefully that'll get you started on where you want. And I'm gonna continue a series uh, just because I have this knowledge and I want to share it with people because, um, you know, it can be an industry where you can get taken advantage of. And that's why I'm putting this out there. I've been encouraged. I've told some people about it and they're like, Tracy started. People want to know this information. And since I have it, I want to share it. So I hope this helped and I'll be doing more as I go along. If you want, if you have questions or, you know, something you want me to do another video on about modeling, getting into it, blah, 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 whatever. Um, comment below, give me the questions and I will do videos on those. Okay. Well, I hope you have a great day. Have a kick-ass day and I will see you soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.